everyone welcome to the Lori Whitlock YouTube channel in this video we're gonna be putting together this impossible card die that I have created in conjunction with iCrafter so you can pick up the die at your local scrapbook store or at your favorite online scrapbook store and make this fun card along with me it's a great staple to have in your collection of dies um, the base is a A2 size, so it will fit into an A2 envelope, and it's super fun and easy to put together. It's such a quick and fast project. I think you will love it, and you can embellish this for so many different things. Inside of this die, you've got this darling little gnome, and we've got the word Noel, and thanks, so you can do this uh, project for fall and Christmas coming up, uh, but you could certainly um, embellish this for any season or occasion with different phrases or artwork you could put flowers on it you could put um, hearts and valentines so watch for my future dies and all the different embellishments that you could put on this um, die to embellish it so you could mix and match things to embellish it for all different occasions so let's get busy putting this together as you can see i've already created one for christmas and one for fall um, you can see that the little gnome can be dressed like a santa claus or just a little fall gnome uh, there's some snowflakes in there, and there's also acorns and leaves to embellish with. There's a little tree, and uh, it's just a really cute little set. So we're going to do another variation of this. We've got the fall, we've got the Christmas, and now we're going to do kind of a winter-looking scene. So the card base looks just like this when you cut it out, and all you need to do to put it together is just twist that panel one flip over. Look how easy that is. So that creates the basic card base. You can just give that a good press in either direction. And then that middle just stands up and your card lays nice and flat on your table. And then this panel right here is where we're gonna embellish um, our, with our little covering panel and our gnome. But just make sure when you're putting those covering panels on that you put one on this side and one on this side so that when you twist, those covering panels are both facing up. So here's that covering panel piece. You'll just want to cut two of those and then one card base and then a covering panel here for the little tab that stands up. So let's go ahead and put a little adhesive on that. We'll just glue that in place. And like I said, this is a perfect place for you to um, embellish your card as desired. So right here, you could do a stamp here. You could embellish with a lot of different things. Uh, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and use our little gnome. And I've created two different variations of this gnome, one where he's wearing navy and one where he's got the lighter blue and the hats are different colors. The one thing you'll need to notice um, when you cut this gnome out, all of his pieces will fall apart so that you can cut those out of different colors and then piece him back together. So you'll need some sort of a backer, backer piecing here. In this case, we've just used a little strip um, to go through the middle and then down across his feet. And you can see how that kind of keeps him held together on the back side. So it's a great way to make these cute little characters. I've done this with a few different characters and it works really well um, to be able to piece them in all different colors. So let's go ahead and put him on our card. Let's go ahead and place him right there. We've got our tree. Again, we've kind of done that same thing. We put a little backer piece here to hold the little tree stem on the bottom, the tree trunk. And of course you could just piece it right here on your card. You wouldn't have to put that backer piece on if you didn't want to. And now we've got our snowflakes. Let's put a little glue on those. Let that dry. Doesn't want to stick for me. Okay. Got a little something gummy on that. A little adhesive or something. Okay. And now our little Noel, if you'll notice on these cards, that um, little covering panel is left free so that you can close your card flat for mailing. 
and then you flip it around and you've got to tuck it under like that. So you can glue that down if you would like and just press that down for mailing. That would work as well. But if you want to leave it where you can rotate it, just leave this edge free. So just glue it onto one side. It doesn't matter which side really, you could use either. But I like to use that as a bridge between the two and just kind of center it in that space. And you could cut a second one to put across the back as a bridge as well. Like this right here. I actually haven't cut a second one for here, but that gives you an idea of what you could do with it. Um, of course, you could um, put another gnome on here if you wanted, but I'm just going to go ahead and put a, have a couple snowflakes on. Actually, I've got another tree here. I think I'm going to put a tree and a snowflake. I'll put a tree down in here. So you can just go to town embellishing this however you would like. We'll just put another snowflake here and another one over here. And let those dry. So you can see how cute our completed card is. Got our little gnome with a Noel. Here it is in Christmas colors, and here it is in fall. And instead of using the snowflakes to embellish and the Noel, we use the thanks and the leaves and acorns and mushrooms. So there's three fun ways to make this darling impossible card die that I have with Die Eye Crafter. So I hope you have fun making this cute project. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment here on the YouTube channel. Have a great day and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.